If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. The audit log in QuickBooks Online Plus lets you view all the changes made in your company file and who made them. The audit log shows the 150 most current entries or changes made to your company data per page by default. You can easily see older instances by adjusting the date range in the audit log or clicking the next link in the lower right corner to review older entries on the next pages in the audit log if available. To open the audit log in QuickBooks Online, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Audit Log link under the Tools heading in the menu that appears. Alternatively, click the Reports link in the navigation bar. If needed, then click the Standard tab to the right to show the standard reports. In the Business Overview Report section on that tab, then click the Audit Log title. To filter the entries in the Audit Log page that opens, click the Filter drop-down in the upper left corner. You can filter by User, Date, or Events in the drop-down menu that appears by selecting the desired filtering criteria in those three sections. To apply the filter after entering the desired filtering criteria, click the Apply button in this drop-down menu. To clear an individual filter after applying it, click the X button that appears to the right of the filter's name in the list of filters to the right of the filter drop-down. Alternatively, to clear all applied filters, click the Clear Filter slash View All link to the right of the filter drop-down. To change the columns and rows in the audit log, click the Settings button in the upper right corner of the list of events to show a drop-down menu. Then check or uncheck the checkboxes under the Columns heading in the drop-down menu to show or hide those columns. You can click the Show More or Show Less link here to show more or fewer columns in this drop-down menu. To set the number of rows to show per page in the audit log, select a choice from the Rows drop-down within this drop-down menu. To print the audit log, click the Print List button in the upper right corner of the list of events to open a new page or tab with a printer-friendly view of the audit log. Your web browser's print dialog box also opens, letting you easily print the audit log. You can close this new web page or tab when you are done printing it. To view the changes to an event in the audit log, click the View link in the Events History column. For transactions, this often opens an audit history page. On the left side of each line is an arrow you can click to expand or collapse the contents and show its changes. However, not all events show an audit history. Some events just show the individual changes made within a smaller audit log list. In either type of page, you can click your browser's back button to return to the main audit log page after clicking the view link to show the event's details if desired. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.